Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a pretty nice day going here. Charging up all systems, reconfiguring a new system. From 12 volt to 24 volt. And it was so easy, I just had to share it with you guys. As you know, I've been a 12 volt guy for the better part of 30 years and I'm just now starting to get into higher voltage and I'm loving it. So let's go right into the shop and take a look at what we did. Beautiful day. Gonna get decent solar. So in the last video I had these three 100 watt solar panels tied in series into a 12 volt charging system and I showed you how that was working and I've left them in series but changed the 12 volt system over to 24 volts. So I'll just walk you through this system. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, I showed you this uh, charging station several times. It's been used as a 12 volt charging station just until the past few days. So very, very simple little system. And the only thing I had to do to change this over from a 12 volt charging station to a 24 volt charging station was on this Victron charge controller, that MPPT 7515. It can be configured for either 12 volt or 24 volt. So when I disconnected the entire system, all I had to do was go it back into the app on that, which is very easy and turn it into 24 volts rather than 12 volt. And it also has a, a preset lithium iron phosphate charging parameter for 24 volt. And I just clicked on that. And so that's how we're charging. So that was super easy. That was just a couple of clicks on the app. And instead of charging for 12 volt, now we're charging 24 volt. The other thing that I did is I pulled out the 12 volt, uh, 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. And I put in this 24 volt, 800 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now we really don't run anything that needs more than 800 watts. So I thought this would be a really good introduction to start getting used to the higher voltage. So that's all I had to do is swap out the inverter from a 12 volt inverter to a 24 volt inverter and then change that to 24 volts as well. Everything else stayed the same. Solar panel disconnect stayed the same. Bus bars, breakers, fuses, uh, battery display monitor, shunt, Everything stayed the same, and except for the very last thing, pulled out the 12 volt battery that was in there, and now we have this time USB, which I did a review on the other day, and we dropped this in, and this is for your 24 volt systems as well. Now this thing has been charging for a few days with so-so uh, charging conditions, and it is just on the edge of um, going into float right now. And maybe while I'm making this video, I can show you what that looks like. So that was it. Three things. Switched out the 12 volt battery to a 24 volt battery. Put in a new inverter and just switch the charge controller. It was so easy. It took just a matter of minutes. And so now I'm charging at the higher voltage with those three panels in series, and I'll show you what that looks like. So those 300 watts tied in series are just now starting to come into full sun. It's getting to be late morning, but where they are, it takes till late morning before they start catching this kind of wattage. You can see right now, 180 watts roughly, 45 43 fluctuating volts right there, 3.8 amps. 
So that's looking really, really good. And it's just uh, on the verge. The battery voltage, 27.2 roughly. This thing's just about ready to kick over and to float. And on the Victron app, as you can see up here, now it says 24 volts. It was just a click onto there off of the 12 volt setting. And then I went into the expert mode, which is right here. And my parameters are absorption at 28.40 volts and float voltage at 27. So I'm just going with those preset lithium iron phosphate settings on the Victron app for this battery for the first little bit to see how I like it and see if I need to adjust it down like I've had to do on some of the 12 volt systems. I've had to drop it down a little bit here and there depending <clears throat> what system I'm running and how it works with uh, the various inverters and other equipment that I'm running. But I'm going to go ahead and take this to float on this pr uh, preset parameters and see how that works. And I'd be interested to know if you guys have had to do the uh, similar thing on the 24 volt batteries or 24 volt systems. If you've had to adjust it downwards a little bit like we have to sometimes on the, the 12 volt. For example, instead of like 14.4 volts on a 12 volt, my sweet spot seems to be around 14.1 for all my devices and everything works just fine that way. So this is wor working out really, really well. I'm super happy. This thing's going to get to uh, float here very quickly. 27.16 uh, volts at the battery right now. 160, 175 watts coming in. And this is going to continue to get better. They're just getting rid of the last little bit of shade on there. So it's going to happen. And then if I look back at the history, I've been charging this for not all of this, but the last one, two, three, four days, I believe. And you can see like on this, this long graph right here, that was a 600 watt hour day and a 460 watt hour day. So far today, 140 watt hours. So it's all going to get up to a full charge today and go to float and stay at float for a while and I'll be happy that it adjusts all of the cells. We'll balance uh, leaving it in absorption mode for a couple of hours for its first time run and I may adjust that as time goes by but for right now I just want to put it on and just let it run up uh, according to how Victron is already preset and do that and then I'll take a look at how it's working for this application. But what I want to say is I had a lot of resistance to going to higher voltage and it's only because my mindset and what was comfortable with me after all of these years, I was very comfortable with 12 volt. I understood it. I have built many, many uh, 12 volt systems. And a lot of you have been very patient with me and over the past year and a half or so said, you might want to start going to higher voltage. And you were right. <laughs> there is a big difference. There really is. And it was just so easy. You know, I had this 12 volt system built. Now it's running for a 24 volt. It's going to be a lot better and a lot more efficient. Uh, this particular battery has twice the available power as a 100 amp hour battery at the 12 volt size. So there it is. You know, that's a lot of power, 2,560 watt hours right there. So I can't wait. I'm going to go ahead and let it do the float uh, or finish off the absorption charge, then then go to float and leave it there all day. And then I'm going to tie this in, probably tie it into a refrigerator or freezer just to see how it runs with uh, its first trial run. And that 800 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter, You've seen me use a lot of these uh, brand of inverters, reliable electric. The reason I keep using them is they are very affordable and they work. I have oh, three of them uh, running right now and I have never had a single problem with one of them. Got a 48 volt, 24 volt, and a 12 volt. Uh, 
The 48 is a 3000 watt. The 12 volt is a 3000 watt. And then this one, 24 volt, 800 watt. So yeah, this was so easy. So easy. Where have I been for the past 30 years? <laughs> Stuck on 12 volt. But hey, I do love my 12 volt systems. They all work great. They're doing just fine out here. But really enjoying this 24 volt. So, of course, I was hoping to show you guys when it just kicked over to float, but that's going to take a little while. Had some clouds move in. It's still very bright. It's going to get there today. And I'll come back and show you guys uh, a discharge test on that 24 volt battery and see how it did. But there you can see now, very typical day. Plenty of sun coming in, but it slows things down a little bit. But I'm starting to over panel everything now, so I'll be in good shape. All right, may the sunshine be with you wherever you are and you're charging up your systems. We're all good here. Aloha.